Now I'm back as a project manager and notice now the concept and the visibility stage is grayed out and says it's done. Well, technically not 100% done, right? So obviously the main thing, the main work is done. We planned the stage, we controlled the stage and we did the deliverable. So if I go back now, try to add comment, I can, but I can still add comment, okay? And I can close the stage, right? And close the stage will be a deliverable like everything else uh, that it will have information that is uh, uh, basically to close the stage. And this is right now, we are leaving that as option it's not mandatory by for the project team to close stages. It's mandatory to close the project, but closing the stage, we're leaving it open for now. <clears throat> so to close the stage, what do we do? Uh, obviously, we you can enter some capture lessons here, or basically you can say refer to capture lessons learned module, right? Because that is where we enter all lessons learned. Uh, or you can say none. Uh, of course, so whatever, yeah, you can leave it. Uh, basically, if there is nothing to add here, you can always get to NA, right? Uh, however, the basic information, if this is an opportunity to remind you that, hey, please remember, uh, did you capture any lessons? You want to document them, and you can uh, do that in the Capture Lesson uh, Learned module, which we will discuss in a separate video. Stage reconciliation work, stage reconciliation is basically the way I like, I use the term stage reconciliation is telling me a story. When it comes to the scope of work, when we started the stage, we uh, intended to do A, B, C. So now at the end of the day, when I'm done with that stage, did I do A, B, C? Or did I do only A and B and maybe add something called D? So what happened on the scope of work for the stage? What happened? Did we plan and implement everything we talked about or there are some deviation? So it's an opportunity here to describe, again, storytelling. I like to you know, do it like storytelling, what's going on, what happened, uh, and uh, the same thing. The same thing with cost. Uh, Cost-wise, what did we expect the stage will cost? How much it ended up costing? And explain the reason for any deviation or correction or whatever the case might be. Same thing for duration. Same thing on schedule date, same thing on any other comment, you know, uh, that you would like to share on uh, basically what was happening. And finally, is the stage work complete? Well, technically we approve the gate, so it should be yes, but you never know. Maybe we discover there is something else that we missed. We, we might need to adjust. And then, uh, uh, and of course, what the stage gate approved if yes, uh, and then basically we can submit it. Now this doesn't go anywhere, just stays in the project documentation for the record. So let's say submit and it's gone. So now technically the stage is done uh, again and we can close it if we don't wanna see this anymore. And we, we start another cycle. I will not be doing videos on these. It's basically uh, we might do videos later on the deliverable for every stage uh, but for the time being, the process is exactly the same uh, as this video on the previous few videos. So there is no need to discuss them, uh, uh, at least for the time being. With this, we end the discussion on PLC management.